Good morning, my name is Kim Carlisle and we have a shop full of Heise glassware. We're located just north of Indianapolis, Indiana and we are open at this time by appointment only. You might get a pencil and paper handy. We're going to show you our email address here in just a moment. Today's video is Half Price Thursday. Half Price Thursdays where we're going to go into storage this morning, pull out glass, put it on a table outside this room and everything will be sold for just one half the price that's marked on it. If you haven't been with us before and you see something you like on Half Price Thursday, all you have to do is call, text, or email, tell us you want the item. If you only buy one item, we can keep that item for several weeks while we have other videos so you can pick out more items to put in the box before we ship it to you. So if you're ready, I'm going to show you our email address. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. Email address is the letter K C A R L I S L at att.net. Please note there's no E on the end of Carlisle on our email address. Here's a picture of our shop. We've got a nice selection. We've got glass that ranges in price from a dollar up to several thousand dollars. If you want to see everything that's in our shop, look at our videos called The 12 Days of Christmas, where everything in this shop will be shown on those 12 videos. Right now, I'm going to back out of this room. And we'll show you what's available today on our Half Price Thursday sale. We'll give you a quick little preview. See anything you're interested in, call, text, or email. The best way to get an item is say you want to purchase an item. If you just say you're thinking about it, that will not hold the item for you. You have to say you're interested in it and you want to buy it. So we're going to get started right back here in the corner. First item we have is a Peerless large water pitcher or jug. It's got the pleats right here around the bottom of it, signed on the inside with the large diamond H, and it's priced $65. It's got a good handle on it. Next piece we have is an Empress centered handle. It's called a T-handle centered tray. It's got a beautiful cutting on it. I don't know if you can see that cutting or not. And it's priced only $45 before the discount. It's a gray cutting, that is. It was cut and always left the way it was when it was cut, it wasn't polished out. It's the way it was supposed to be. Then we have a piece here that was polished out. It's a dolphin footed, three toed floral bowl in the Empress pattern with Claremont cutting and it's priced $30. Very nice cutting, cut all the way around the outside edge also. It's got a star cut in the middle of the bottom of it. Another piece with a cutting, we have a Revere or Yeoman footed jelly and it has Windsor cutting on it. Marked here at the top of the stem and it's priced $30. Individual creamer and sugar in Toujours pattern. This is the individual. Creamer and sugar collectors know this is a difficult one to find and it's $35 for the pair. A couple weeks ago we sold an ice cream set. Don't remember who we sold it to but we found two more ice cream dishes that actually go with that set and we priced them at $3 a piece. Have a narrow flute, individual, creamer, sugar, and tray. Everything is marked, and it's $25 before, on the set before the discount. Includes a tray. Another individual creamer and sugar and tray is originally set. If you look, you can see that they're not flat across the top. Originally set, always curves. If you find the flat pair, that you turn them upside down, they sit flat on the table. Those aren't Heisey. The Heisey ones are always marked, and it always has this curved effect to it. And the set is $30 for the set. Another piece of Ridgely, we have a lemon dish with a little beehive finial on top, marked $18 before the discount, marked in the center of the bottom. Have a pair of Columbia one light candle holder with a pretty little cutting that goes around the base, and they're $30 for the pair. Sunburst footed egg cup, it's $45. Wing scroll custard glass crew, it's got, a, it's got a press stopper in it. It's not the original stopper, but it fits pretty well. And it's priced $50. Good color in this one. New era pair of candle holders have a cutting here on the base. One of the corners does have a chip off the side of the base on the underneath side. And the pair is priced $25 before the discount. 
round colonial seven inch basket, measures about 13 inches tall, has butterflies cut on every other panel, half a butterfly when it's close to the handle, probably cut by Lewis and Nedlett out of Cincinnati, little minor roughness on the inside edge and it's priced $65. It's also cut around the top of the handle, around the top of the basket here, and also around the base. Here's a plain band handled mug, and it says World's Fair 1904. It's got damage on the handle. We've got it priced at just $2. Narrow flute one pint water pitcher, priced $45. Good handle. It has not been bumped in that direction and cracked it. Here's a Putney band, eight and a half inch nappy. Got the Putney bands, got the flute atop, doesn't have the balls on it, just a flute atop this time, and it's priced $45. Excellent quality in this. Same thing, another floral bowl, this time it's in Fancy Loop, it's priced $17.50, and it has just a minor roughness around the outside edge. Beaded swag, opal, wine glass, Usually you see these in custard, but this one's in opal or milk glass. Pretty, pretty little decoration on it with gold around the top, gold around the beads, and it's priced only $35. Fancy Loop Emerald Grain Wine, and it is a souvenir. It says $1,900 on it. State Fair. doesn't say what State Fair, so it could be your State Fair. $35. Burlington, Iowa, ring band, toothpick holder, marked in the center of the bottom. Does have a fracture going up the back side of it. Price fell off of it. The price is $2. $2 for Burlington, Iowa. I'm trying to think of the name of these can candle holders. Anyway, they're a toy candle holder. What's the name of this, Pam? You remember? <laughs> I don't either, but here you go. They're a pair of candle holders marked in the center of the bottom. They're not Jack B. Nimbles. They're something else. And they're $45 for the pair. Have a pair of cologne bottles. They have Charlton decoration on them, original stopper, all in good shape. The decoration on them is real good. And each one of these bottles has the original stopper with it. And it says Charleston hand decorated these are labels that was on the bottom of them that fell off each one of them we have a pair of them and they are priced fifty dollars a piece here we have a cecilia saturn optic saturn vase with a beautiful sterling silver overlay on it it's priced only forty five dollars these candle holders are called tom thumb And they're still $45 for the pair. Here we have another round colonial basket. It's got a nice little cutting on it. Don't know who made this one. It's got quite a bit of wear on the inside of it. And this one is $50 for the discount. So you can find a nice high basket for $25 after the discount. Just slight roughness on one place underneath of it. Rooster Stem Cocktail Glass, Chanticleer. It's priced $30, and if you buy this one, we're gonna throw this one in for nothing. It's Rooster Head, but it's got a little fracture right up above the head. So you get both of them for $15 at the discount. Empress Individual Creamer and Sugar in Sahara, $25 for the pair. Saturn Six Inch Ball Vase, got the Saturn Optic inside of it, $65. Good top, no repairs, no damage. We have six plates, beautiful cutting on them. Have roses, flowers, and leaves, all gray cutting, just highlights polished out to them. And they're only $6 a piece, and we do have six of them. And that's six to go. Two handled eight ounce. Narrow flute, iced teas with a nice little gray cutting around the top. Each one of them is signed here on the bottom and they're $20 a piece. Handled iced teas you don't see every day. Number 400 water pitcher, no pleats around the bottom. If it's pleated, it'd be number 300 peerless and it's priced $45. And this has not an applied handle, this has a pressed handle on it. Marked with the diamond H right in the center of the bottom, large diamond H. 
Here's a rooster vase, marked $45. These rooster vases are about always molded up here in the back where they're hard to get out of the mold, and this one's no exception. We have a goose with the wings up, most likely stole it out of the factory. Underneath of it, the bottom of it's never been ground, and someone has taken it, and they have glued it to this other piece of glass. It's going to be $7 and a half after the discount. Now we have several nut cups. Have a Risley nut cup marked in the center. It had two, two handles on it, $15. All these other nut cups are $20 a piece. Here's a narrow flute nut cup signed in the middle of the bottom. It's in Flamingo. It's a footed nut cup. Octagon nut cup in Moongleam signed in the middle of the bottom. We have two narrow flute nut cups. And these are dated, it says patent. February... February the 22nd, 1916. It's got the, this one has a large diamond H in the middle of the bottom of it and, and has a star bottom. This one does not have a star bottom. It's got the same date, February 22nd, 1916. It says patent. This one has a large diamond H. This one has a small diamond H, which means this one, was, the mold was made before 1920s, and this was made after when they downsized the diamond H. $20 a piece. Dolphin footed Empress nut cup, part Mike $20. Same thing in Moon Gleam, $20. And that concludes our sale for this morning. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or send us an email. Have any questions, please let us know. Thank you very much and goodbye.